תום פרנץ, שלום. <laughs> שלום לך, מה נשמע? על הכיפאק, and welcome to culture buzz. <laughs> Thank you very much, I'm glad to be here. תום, uh, you have enjoyed uh, a sudden celebritism thanks to <laughs> master chef. Yeah, this is true. So this is our opportunity to congratulate you. Thank you very much. For winning this uh, TV competition. <laughs> And uh, we are very curious, Tom, about you, as, as you can imagine. <laughs> so maybe this will be a wonderful opportunity to learn more <laughs> about you. Okay. So the floor is yours, my friend. <laughs> so what can I tell you? I mean, I came from uh, Germany to Israel already a couple, year, couple, couple of years ago. I, um, I came on my own. I uh, had, had been visiting Israel for many years already before, almost uh, now for 25 years. I was 15 or 16 when I came here the first time of the school exchange. Later on, I, um, I wanted to live here for longer and I found an organization which is called uh, Uh, action peace service and reconciliation and I came here to do a peace service for one and a half years and I worked with Holocaust survivors it was a very interesting and very good time for me impressive if we may say so ourselves <laughs> yeah it was also hard but it was I think it very important for someone who loves this country and one connects and comes from Germany it's I think uh, one has to deal and confront this confrontate himself with the, the past and uh, it's, it's too important to To, to neglect it. And we know that your background is uh, with uh, legal affairs. <laughs> yeah, I have um, a yeah, different background for what I'm doing today. I really, I, I worked in a bank after I uh, finished school and uh, then I learned uh, law and I became a lawyer. A lawyer. In, a German lawyer. And as uh, such, I came also to Israel and I started also working here with law office. I became a Uh, consultant for for German law uh -huh. and um, but what can I tell you I didn't have um, I didn't have real passion for what I did I never never something I, I, was missing I thought it's it's the right profession for me and I, I am I'm, I'm sure I was and could have become a real good lawyer but it was not it not was not my destiny it didn't feel right Like, like the place where I lived in Germany was not right for me, like my religion was not right for me, so this was one of the last things I felt I have to make a change about, but I, I couldn't, I mean, I didn't know how. It was my wife that first really acknowledged, acknowledged my cooking skills uh -huh. and uh, said, you know, you deserve to be, you know, really acknowledged in a, On a higher level, I mean, you're cooking too good for being just our home cook. So we have to thank your wife. Yes, she's to blame. Wonderful. <laughs> and she was the one then that finally really, really convinced me and pushed me to go to the MasterChef. I mean, there were two seasons before. This was the third season now of the MasterChef. And the first two seasons, she didn't, uh, didn't succeed. She didn't uh, convince me to go. And also the third season, it was not so easy. It was also the third attempt. Only when I finally, you know, said like, okay, okay, I'm going. Okay, <laughs> lucky us, <laughs> lucky us. A, a small bird has whispered in our ear that uh, a certain scholarship played mm -hmm. an important role in us enjoying you as much as we enjoy you today. Yeah. Maybe a few words about this scholarship. This is also true. I mean, uh, I mean, before I left Germany, I also tried ways to how to make it to come to Israel and make, I mean, make myself, first of all, to, to stay legally in this country, which is not so easy for a tourist, and also how to survive, to make money. And, and it's, uh, so one of the ideas that came up, I had started a doctorate and uh, I... Um, PhD. A PhD. And um, so I uh, found that there are scholarships for, uh, I mean, also for lawyers and for other studies too. And I, I simply applied still from Germany for, for such a scholarship. And actually for my disappointment, I, I got a negative answer first. Oh. And I came here after all without a scholarship. And during the time I was already here, then suddenly a year later, I became a positive answer. Hey. And which was actually like, you know, 
it was a much, much better timing because the times were harder then already and it was for me great because then could continue doing uh, my studies and stay in Israel and in my case I also con I continued doing my conversion and uh, so prepare also to do a, a real Aliyah after finishing my studies. Wow, so we have to thank not only your will <laughs> to become Jewish, but also the Israeli embassy in Berlin and the Israeli <laughs> Ministry of Foreign Affairs in Jerusalem. Yeah, there are a lot of, uh, you know, there are a lot of things coming together to make this happen. And, uh, but uh, I think it's much more than that. We have to thank you being so persistent. <laughs> yeah, I think without being persistent, I mean, not only in my case, it's I think for everyone who uh, comes from abroad and wants to uh, stay in Israel and stay for good, it is not it is not so easy. I mean, it's wonderful to live in this country. It's a beautiful country. It's wonderful people. And when you once uh, are here and make your living, it's the best place to be. But, and it's uh, not my own experience, it's the experience of many people, it is not so easy in the beginning. You have to learn the language. You have to find a job and continue your career, which uh, you had already before you come here. And you need to be persistent. You have to really to know what you want and that you know it because you're going to be really tested with your will and um, many times. It's not just that you decide to come and then you come here and then everything's already fine. No, you have to continue. Yeah. And uh, it's, it's a test. You're being tested. Than, You're it's being more than tested. Three months. It's more than even three years. It can take a couple of years till you are in your life and career where you left your life before and um, you have to know this in advance but if you really want this you can make it hey. wow optimistic so basically it's both persistence and uh, strong uh, believing in yourself and, and maybe in, in my case I also I said it's an Hashem it's not only uh, Hashem, myself. Of course. I could not have Sa made myself my uh, this way alone I have to admit I had I must have had, had so from praise from the above. Lord <laughs> And also patience, and maybe one thing that you left out, understanding uh, chutzpah. chutzpah and understanding the mentality of the people. Yeah, learn the mentality of the people, you know, don't get too easily annoyed. I mean, they're wonderful people, that it's a different mentality. Yeah. Let, let's switch, in your permission, Tom, to what has become the center of your activities <laughs> uh, since this wonderful uh, win of MasterChef. Let's talk about food. Yes. Let's talk about, about food and this passion of yours around. and your plans when it comes to food. <clears throat> so what keeps you busy now? <laughs> really, my life has changed a lot. So I'm, uh, my life is not going around uh, paragraphs anymore. I'm not working on a computer all the time. I'm much more working in the kitchen today and uh, everything is around food. It's, it's, uh, for me, it's uh, wonderful because it's really my passion. I love it. Lucky I am, also my wife comes from this business and understands very much, so we can work together today. So um, today I make a lot of uh, projects that are around food, which is some, many times it's around uh, like uh, to give, uh, how do you say, a council, a culinary council to, to, uh, to firms, to restaurants. I build menus. I, uh, provide uh, bigger companies with recipes that they use for their homepage, for their Facebook, also for the products, the, the packs uh, themselves to sell it in the supermarkets. So they need it for the PR and uh, for advertisements. I uh, have managed already and I'm very proud of this. It's really happening uh, only lately, but it's, I mean, it was a huge project and it's going to be on air soon. I, I did my own cooking book. Not, uh, I mean, it's on Israeli food. It's Mazal Tov. The food of uh, the the taste of Israel. Wow! But it's going to be published in Germany, Austria, and uh, Switzerland, hey. which will be in German in first. And uh, it's also, I think, the right thing because, I mean, I must say, I I have become, and it, it was not my decision, but it's a beautiful task. I become a uh, sort of ambassador. In Israeli Germany. food ambassador. Yes, it's like I become an Israeli ambassador for Germany. I have a lot of publicity in Germany. It's I'm really appearing every month, once or twice on German TV and on newspapers. 
and I'm considered there the, I mean, like, the Israeli chef, I mean, and people know me for my Israeli food. So wow. I'm cooking Israeli food in Germany, and I'm cooking uh, the German and European food in Israel. So it's uh, the Amazing. other ambassador role. I'm here for, as an ambassador for Germany, culinary ambassador, but it's very nice because both I mean, like, uh, formal ambassadors recognize my task and also use my services for oh, this Wonderful. Purposes. We just noticed before we came here a wonderful picture <laughs> of yourself with two people we recognized as uh, the German foreign minister and the famous German uh, mm -hmm. actress. Yeah, it's, it's very nice to meet them because they know me for what I'm doing, for what I've done, that I won this uh, MasterChef uh, competition and for, my, my, this, for the story of my life. And it's, it's beautiful because it's, um, it's um, the people in the street, simple people in the street and also the, also the diplomatic uh, I mean, uh, circles know about my story and everyone gets connected in their way to, to what I'm doing today. And it's indeed a wonderful story. I think we can uh, talk about Tom Franz culinary bridge between Israel it's, and Germany? I think it's really a bridge. Food is building bridges, it's like many things uh, that are around art, it's like music, it's food, it's connecting people, it's not like, it's, I mean, like, when people come together to have, have important meetings, celebrations, whatever, it's, it's always, they, they always eat. You feel comfortable when you eat and you are not hungry, so it's, it's really a big privilege to do this between two peoples and to do this between especially these two peoples that are for me both my peoples. So I'm a very very privileged uh, position today to, to, uh, to yeah. work in between the, uh, the uh, two countries. I believe we are privileged as well <laughs> to have you. Thank you. As a newcomer to the Jewish people <laughs> I have to make and sure rival. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> I have to make sure that you know the famous joke about what do all Jewish holidays have in common? Ah, it's uh, that uh, there were, someone wanted to kill us and we survived, so... Let's eat! Let's eat together! Wonderful. <laughs> Wonderful! Tom, I want to wish you all the best in the future. <laughs> Thank you for coming, and I mean Thank it you. from the bottom of my heart. Thank you very much. And uh, good luck! <laughs> Thank you. Thank Toda you. Shalom. Thank you.